My fellow Airsofters, Rick from Reaper 6 Airsoft here, back uh, after a really long time of not doing an unboxing video. I've been slacking, I'm really sorry, but I got two unboxings today. I have the perfect Christmas gift, BOA, that I ordered on December 5th, whoops, and the New Year's Flash Edition BOA that I ordered sometime in January. So. You guys have waited long enough for me to do this, so I'm just going to jump right in. And today, I'm going to be using my first completed blacksmith project. You guys saw me use just the blade of this before it was completed. Now it has a handle. A couple of you guys said that you were interested in maybe having me make some of these and sell them to you guys. When I get better, I will do that. This is good. I'm super proud of it. But it's not up to where I would sell it. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into the Christmas box first. And here we go. This blade actually is pretty good. It came out nice. It is 1095 high carbon steel with acrylic handle scales. I uh, learned a lot doing this, had a lot of fun with it, and I'm excited to go out there and do more. So as you guys know, I do have another hobby, which is blacksmithing and bladesmithing specifically. So if I disappear from the airsoft world for a while, there's a good chance I'm outside hitting a hot piece of metal with a hammer. Pretty good chance of that. But all right, so first thing, paper be gone. For you. This is a black skull cap from Evike, and which is good because my hair is getting very long, and I need that. Actually, this can come in pretty clutch. Uh, this looks like a swimmer's cap, but this could actually really come in handy under my helmets. You know, it, it's such a an odd thing to be really useful, but this can be really useful for me. But we're going to go ahead and put that off to the side. Next up we have a gel blaster. Not an airsoft thing, but these seem pretty cool. I've seen videos of these. Uh, they're going all over TikTok. Um, they look kind of cool to play around with. Um, I'm pretty sure I could, you know, shoot this around the house. I don't know how much of a mess I'd make, but, you know, I could at least chase the kids around in the backyard with this or something. So that'd be cool. Neato. Put that aside. So I do remember this, if I, I've seen other people's unboxings of this one and they said it wasn't like a lot of airsoft stuff. What do we have here? Um, Sanitech Defense Hand Sanitizer. 80% alcohol. Ah, that's how you use it, right? All right. <laughs> All right, keeping her moving. Yeah, they said that this video, or these, this box wasn't a lot of, like, airsofty things, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my foot in my mouth on that one right here because we've got one of these guys. I have a smaller one. What are, I don't even remember what these are called. The 1911 SBK. I don't know what they're called, but I got one, another one sitting over there somewhere. This is the longer barreled version, which is pretty cool. And as you guys know from my last video, whenever I did that, I wanted to use this particular replica. I caught myself, YouTube, don't you demonetize me again. You're going to do it. Who are we kidding? But I was going to use this for a Mandalorian airsoft cosplay thing. Still going to do it, and this longer version is actually better. This is pretty cool. All right. Now there's one more box in here. I'm going to close my eyes, pull her out, and... I think it is, oh, there's two other things in here. My bad. I'm going to toss this over here. Excuse me, wifey. Wifey just caught that over there. She came in clutch. Thank you, honey. So I have the nine of diamonds player's cash card. I am still trying to make a full deck. That way, next time, Evic has one of their giveaways. I missed the last one because I was kind of dealing with my Airsoft video YouTube burnout. Um... I'll have whatever hand they're looking for. That's the plan, at least. And I have a little mask patch for my, my wall over there. And I'm fairly certain this is, yep, it is the Scar L LPEG. I'm actually not going to open this because I have, like, four of these. And I'm probably going to give this away or something, but I don't know. We'll see. But still, no complaints on this box simply because of this pistol. Like I said, I know some people weren't too happy with this one, but... I'm not going to be upset that I got this. I think I paid like 150 for this box. I don't remember on that one, but we're going to total both of them up at the very end. So let's go ahead and put this away. 
And then we're going to go ahead and get into the next box. All right. Next up, we have the Flash Edition New Year's box of awesomeness. This one, I believe, was 14 pounds. Yep, it says 14 pounds right there. Go ahead and get into it. I haven't really put an edge on this knife yet. Started to grind it a little bit. It's sharp enough to get through the cut through the tape, but not that sharp. Not yet. We'll get there. All right. We're going to get rid of the paper again. Man, I'm making such a mess in my nice new clean area. All right, I'm going to pull out another gel blaster. So now I have two of them. So now my son and I can go run around in the backyard and shoot each other. That'll make him happy. These are pretty cool. Um, like I said, I never really messed with them before, but they're neat. Not an airsoft thing, but it's it's related. It's in the realm of what I'm doing here. So put that off to the side. Ooh, okay. I have a Queen of Clubs player's cash card. Put that over here as well. I don't think I have that one yet. Let's see. What are you? What are you? A rolling target. Now that seems pretty cool. I don't know how well that would stand up to the abuse of me shooting it but uh you know what i think we're gonna do a shooting test video in my backyard in a couple of days with this because that'll be fun i'll see if it can take my my different hpa setups my avalon uh we'll go at everything from springer all the way to hpa i think that'll be fun Ooh, and my gas sniper rifle i bet i shoot right through the thing what do you guys think tell me in the comments below would i shoot right through this thing find out on the next episode of reaper six airsoft whenever i get around to making a video Okay, keep the momentum going. Looks like we have a WeTech Professional Training Equipment Pistol. What are you? Ooh, pretty. It is the same style pistol that I, the name is escaping me, but this one is purple and silver. I actually really like that two-tone. It's something really different than what I, everything else I have, you know, you guys know I'm more of the Milsim type player, and you could tell by, like, what's behind me that it's, like, all military stuff. I don't have any, like, indoor flashy stuff, but I've always had, like, a passing interest in it. I actually really do like that. That's cool. This makes me want to HPA tap it and go play Speedsoft. Yes, yes, you can roast me in the comments for saying that. But, no, that's cool. I'm very happy with that pistol. But we're not done yet. An Evic sticker. Got lots of those. I think there's just one more thing in here. There's a box and the size of it. All right, my eyes are closed. I think, I bet it's another P90. Look out, honey. Wifey catch two for two. I'm fairly certain this is another Crytek P90. All right, as always, you all get to see it before I do. I do believe. Yes, this feels like a... Yeah, that's definitely a P90. Wouldn't it be funny if I said it was definitely a P90 and it was like some weird M4 or something? What an epic fail that would be. But this one... Maybe it's been a while since I've seen my other one. This one looks a little different because of the flash hider. I'm probably crazy because I haven't really come down here in my airsoft room and done anything for a while outside of like throw stuff in a bag go out to the local field. But uh, yeah, no, another Crytek P90. That is the third one I have second now because i gave one away but still third one i've gotten out of mystery boxes but that means this was definitely at least i don't think it was a base box because i think these are like four hundred dollars or something and i definitely didn't pay four hundred dollars for this box i want to say i paid 199 for that one in particular but now here's everyone's favorite part of the video where i get to tally up how much this is all worth and we get to see if i won so we'll be right back Okay, and we're back, and I took notes on the foam because I had to calculate all of this stuff. And actually, I think it may not look like it, but I actually did really well considering what I paid for all this. So for the Christmas box, I paid $159, free shipping, of course. And then for the New Year's box, I paid $199, so we'll say $200, right? And overall, that's $358, right? 159 plus 199, 358. I'm not good at math. I pull triggers and shoot plastic BBs. I'm not good at math. But good thing my wife's over there with the calculator. She comes in clutch a lot. She's she's great. So I paid $358. 
and I took the value of everything that's not airsoft out of it. So really, I only looked at the P90 and the two Galaxy pistols. They're Galaxy 1911s. It says it right there. I had to look it up. Feel free to roast me in the comments. But if everything on that those pages are correct about value, my total value in airsoft items is $859 between the P90 and the two pistols. You don't have to be good at math to realize that's a win, whether there's a base box or not. The Christmas box was a base box. It was a 50 winner box. That was the lowest tier. Still, come in, came out ahead. It's in the numbers. You, you can't dispute that. And then the New Year's one was a 20 winner box, which was one of the lower tiers, but it wasn't the lowest. I think the lowest tier one was a 50 winner box. So I came out ahead once again, and this is why I buy the BOAs, because you get value and I think they're super fun. So if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like on it, comment and subscribe. YouTube, please for the love of God, stop monetizing my videos. There are no real weapons in this. This is just a video of an airsoft nerd opening boxes. Don't demonetize me. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, do all that fancy YouTube stuff. Thank you all for being here. I'm going to try to post more regularly. I do have a bunch of gameplay content from times I went out to NRAP Paintball out in Tawnytown, Maryland, formerly Paintball Adventure Park. I got to tell you, those new owners are bringing things back to the way they used to be back in the early 2010s when I was out there all the time. Can't wait to go back out. Keep a lookout for all those videos dropping. See you guys. Reaper 6 out. Mm -hmm.